What's up guys, my name is Jerry, and today we're going to be talking about how the New Orleans Pelicans' secret weapons should have the rest of the NBA scared, and we're going to jump right into the video. Now when it comes to the average NBA fan and the mainstream media, and they're talking about the New Orleans Pelicans, most of the time they only bring up Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram, CJ McCollum, and sometimes maybe Herb Jones. Now don't get me wrong those four guys are spectacular and they take the new orleans pelicans to a whole new level but with these guys getting so much attention it allows for the new orleans pelicans to have a secret weapon and that's their high quality depth now i want to look to tuesday night tuesday night game against the dallas mavericks this game was on tnt primetime game home game for the new orleans pelicans but they were under some 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 unfortunate circumstances they were without their best players they were without um zion williamson brandon ingram and herb jones you know that's a lot of that's a lot of production missing from your lineup so going into this game the pelicans were the underdogs but if you watch that game from start to finish they did not look like underdogs at all and it's because their role players stepped up and they rise to the occasion and they got the job done while their guys were out nursing their injuries and what makes this even more impressive those guys were absent from the game Zion Williamson B.I. and Herb Jones but C.J. McCollum he played a fantastic game facilitating he had 11 assists but when it came to shooting he had a rough night so that makes it even more special to me that the Pelicans were able to come out and get this dub so in today's video man we're going to be talking about all this great depth that they have on this team and I think it's only right that we start with Trey Murphy the third now with the way that Trey Murphy the third is playing right now second year in the NBA by the end of the season and he if he stays on this pace I think he's gonna be a candidate for most improved player of the year and if you've been watching the Pelicans over these last three or four games and you feel like Trey Murphy the third hasn't missed a shot don't worry I feel the same exact way when I watch the Pelicans play I swear this guy doesn't miss and if you look at his numbers they do indicate that Right now, he's averaging 15.6 points per game, which is very decent to do off the bench. And I know the last game, he got the start, but his shooting splits are insane, 62% from the field, and right now, 68% from the three-point line. So he is playing out of his mind right now. And watching Trey Murphy over the over these last couple of games, he, he doesn't look like a, a second-year player. He looks like he's been doing this for five or six years now. His, games look, his game looks on the offensive side of the ball it looks very calm and it looks very poised right now and I noticed that about Trey Murphy last NBA season when he was taking those shots as a rookie it didn't seem like he hesitated at all very confident in his jump shot and I'm seeing the same thing this year and his release looks clear, um, quicker it looks smoother and he just lets it fly and he gets it off so quickly there's no there's really no contesting his jump shot with the speed of it and then you add the, his height and his length very uncontestable jump shot but Trey Murphy he's not just shooting the basketball this year when um, guys are closing out hard on him he has now added the ability to bit to pit the ball on the floor and get to the rim finish with both hands he's getting up and dunking the ball with two hands he's just doing a little bit of everything on the offensive side of the ball right now and his defense is also improving he stands at 6'10", but he's very athletic, very mobile, so he can guard guys on the perimeter, and he can affect shots at the rim. So I think Trey Murphy, the way he's trending right now, he could give the New Orleans Pelicans a very unstoppable small ball lineup. So I'm loving what I'm seeing from Trey Murphy the third, and I think he's going to end up um, in that most improved player of the year conversation by the end of the season. Before we move on, let me also add that Trey Murphy played a big time game against the Dallas Mavericks. He had 22 points, eight of eight from the field and four of four from the three point line. So I had to add that in. And I think we also, when it comes to the depth of the New Orleans Pelicans, I have to talk to you guys about Jose Alvarado. Now, Jose Alvarado, when it comes to personality and poisonous, he reminds me of Trey Murphy the third as well. If I was to watch Jose Alvarado and I didn't know how old he was or how long he's been in the NBA, I would think he was a seasoned veteran as well. And I love that the New Orleans Pelicans, they can bring a guy off the bench in their second unit that plays the point guard position and he can run the offense and limit mistakes. And I noticed this about Jose Alvarado last year as well. In the playoffs, 
playoffs against the defending con um, conference champs. I just feel like whenever he came into the game, he did a great job on the defensive side of the ball, just playing with great intensity, and then just on offense doing whatever his team needs him to do. And um, so far this season, he's been doing the same exact thing. And what I love about Jose Alvarado, um, you can run him with the second unit as the as the point guard, and he will run the offense, get guys to to their spots, and you can also run him with um, the starters, with the guys that play with the basketball in their hands, guys like um, Brandon Ingram, C.J. McCollum, and Zion Williamson. You can play Jose Alvarado with those guys because even though he's a point guard, he does not need the basketball in his hand to be effective. He's like one of those guys that's always in the right place at the right time, and he usually capitalizes on that. He also played a huge role in helping the Pelicans win the Dallas Mavericks. He came off the bench and gave them some much much needed help in the 25 minutes that he played but Jose Alvarado he's a guy that's going to constantly put pressure on the opposing team ball handler and then offensively he's going to get guys to their spots he's going to limit his turnovers and he's usually going to take high percentage shots so I love Jose Alvarado and we talked about Jose Alvarado and Trey Murphy and last night Dyson Daniels with all these guys um, being out with injuries he was able to step up and get some more minutes and he capitalized on that because he played a big time game as well. Now Dyson Daniels was the eighth pick in the 2022 NBA draft. So this kid is a lottery pick, but we gotta remember he got drafted to the New Orleans Pelicans and the Pelicans kind of established themselves as a high quality team last season, especially with the assumption of Zion Williamson coming back and Zion has been back and the Pelicans have looked spectacular so far with Zion in the lineup. So I think Coach Willie green he's gonna want Dyson Daniels to come out and earn earn his minutes and I think with his performance last night he definitely made a case to give him some more minutes in 22 minutes I think he played a very solid ball game he put up 11 points three rebounds and two assists and he shot the ball very efficiently four or five from the field made both his free throws and he knocked down the one three-pointer that he took so a very solid game for a rookie but I think he did a great job on the defensive side of the ball in my opinion that's the best part of his game just because because he's so versatile, he's so athletic, and he can give a bunch of different guys um, um, some problems. Even Luca, you know, he was guarding Luca, and he was not afraid of the moment. He took on that task, and he ended the game with three steals. So Dyson Daniels, he came in and he very, he had a very high impact on his game, and that's what I, um, that's what I've been saying whenever I will talk about Dyson Daniels in my my last couple of Pelicans videos is that you can drop this guy in any system, and he's gonna he's gonna have an impact on the game because his playing style um, his playing style he just adds so many different things to the game of basketball so he's gonna do whatever you need him to so um, that's their depth right there I love those three guys and I didn't even get to talk about guys like Jonas Valachunas now I know he's in the starting lineup but um, I, I consider him to be a part of their depth a part of their of their role players and he's really good he's a walking double double um, Najee Marshall came in and gave the Pelicans some big time minutes. Larry Nash Jr., who I love so much, just because he's so athletic, he plays hard every play. You can switch him onto different defenders and he's a lob threat. So all these different guys, oh, Devontae Graham, great to see him knocking down his three point shots in that game against the Dallas Mavericks. We know how he had a shooting slump last year. So if the Pelicans can get Devontae Graham knocking down his threes consistently, that's gonna change so many different things for this team. Team. But so far, man, the Pelicans, they're 3-1 and one on the season. They've been looking spectacular, and they've beaten some they, um, they, they've beaten some quality teams. So, you know, all, um, all the guys that's watching this video, uh, you guys know we've been talking about this all summer, man. The Pelicans, they're not going to be nothing to play with this season. And with the way their depth is looking, I think that was the only question mark going into this season. How good is this second unit going to be? And with the way they're looking, man, the Pelicans, they are contenders, but that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment down below if you agree or disagree, and then subscribe. Subscribe for more weekly content. We do this all the time, man, and that's curtains.